Hey guys, Paul Zakopoulos here. Catch me on Twitter at Big Data underscore Paul Z. This is the maiden voyage of a series I'm going to do for the next little while called Five Minutes to Save You 50. I'm going to give you five minutes or so of tips and tricks that will save you 50 minutes in the year um, and more. This particular one today is actually going to save you 10 to 20 hours. I think I can find you about 40 hours a year of savings with a bunch of stuff that I know in PowerPoint. And you might be saying, oh, PowerPoint, death by PowerPoint. Listen, I have witnessed murders and assassinations with whiteboards and podcasts. I've seen suicide in a stand-up speech. So I never like to walk around with that trendy catchphrase, death by PowerPoint. It's actually death by presenter. And you can kill me any way you want. And if someone says that you killed them with your PowerPoint, it wasn't PowerPoint that sucked. It, it was probably you. So if you can put more effort into your presentation and less into playing around with stuff, um, hey, maybe you'll make a better presentation and that's what I'm gonna show you. This is a complex slide. It has a bunch of layers to it and animation. I'll kind of take you through it real quick. There is Bill, he's a telco consumer. He's in a segment. They're all gonna stay on slide 51 if you notice in the bottom left. He's had a number of drop calls and incidences. He's called the competitor's contact center. He calls his own telco provider and they have a big data project using next best action. And so here are the NBA options for action based on those big data algorithms and their impact on churn, lifetime value and likelihood to respond. So uh, as it scores bills, the consumer, it selects for him to upgrade the phone. Look what happens to his picture. Selects upgrade phone because of its impact on churn, lifetime value and likelihood to respond. Good. Now I wanna go and edit and play around with this. How do I go and change those circles? We all know what you do. You move this over here and I, you know, let's say I'm gonna just add periods or I want to change the name. Um, maybe I wanna go and, and work with Bill the picture here. Well, how do I do this? There's Bill, I can't get at it. So then what do I do? Uh, you know, one trick I used to do <clears throat> is bring it to the front and then undo it so long as you didn't make a change. But if I came in here and made a change, then I'd have to go and send him to back. If you're lucky, that's where I want him. Otherwise, you have to go and play around and start to reorder uh, overlapping objects and decide where he's gonna sit, right? So that's a bit of a pain in the butt. And then after you're done, you bring this back and you know maybe it's off a bit here and you change it. So, my gosh, how do you make it easier? How do you save 50 minutes this week? Selection pane, open it up. Probably never seen this or heard of it before. Select an object, it highlights it. Just let me go hide it from view, right? And maybe I don't want to see those circles. And maybe I want to focus in on uh, some text or something like that. See these show all, hide all? I love this. Because here I'll go show all. I'll hide it all. And then I'm just going to work on, um, let's see, the two circles. And then I'm done. And then maybe I want to work on some of those uh, bar algorithms. And they're scoring. And so I just want to be able to go focus in on there maniacally. And I'm just going to actually make um, the lifetime value of the $20 credit uh, or the uh, retention there a little less. And then I just go show all again. And I'm done. Like how simple was that? And so you're going to find that this has enormous benefits. You know, I'll just go quickly grab another slide here. Um, here's a slide here. Okay. Underneath here, there's text. You know how many times I've had to go and change? I have to change the color scheme and all that kind of stuff. Right? Here, all I do is select this. And then I will go hide it, change the text. If some of this other stuff is getting in my way, fine, I'll just actually take out that entire group. Um, and then I can go and text it, type in text here, type in text here. So you're gonna kind of see this opportunity to go through all kinds of slides. I have this huge slide deck and I can do all this stuff. Uh, here's another great example here. See this text, right? Animates nicely. You watch here. See, I, I kind of show each of the different uh, areas where the weather can help with different texts. It lines up, it's pretty smooth. Uh, how do you go and t change that text? Well, I go move this here, and I gotta move this out, and then I say uh, more accurate, right? So I go up here and put more accurate. Then I can't do undo to place these back because it would undo the text change. So now in this case, it's a little easier because I have these bullets and I have to go do this kind of mess here and just keep playing around with that. Where what I could easily do be now that you know this tip is go uh, hide all and then uh, let's go get a text box 
uh, or any of these particular pieces, right? Um, so, of course, I forget where my text box is. So uh, let's go see here, text box. Well, here, I'll go this way. Show all, let me go highlight it. That's why I actually like this thing. It's in this group 21. So now I know they're called rectangles and not text boxes. That's interesting. So now I go and work on that particular one. Can go change this stuff, right? And then I can go and remove that one and hide it. And then I'll go look for the other rectangle. Okay, I'll go change that one. Then I'll go change that one. And then I'll go show all. All right. Uh, so you can tell these things aren't too scripted. A little choppy there, a couple things. Selection pane, going to save you 50 minutes. We'll see you next episode.